politicians need to deliver a fresh moral vision ahead of the general election, the Church of England says. In a letter urging congregations to vote on May 7, the House of Bishops does not endorse a political party but encourages debate on issues such as nuclear defence and the economy. It speaks of Britain's almost moribund political culture. Conservative MP Connor Byrne said the letter was naive, but David Cameron said he welcomed the move. The 52-page letter, an unprecedented intervention by the House of Bishops, says it is the duty of every Christian adult to vote, even though it may have to be a vote for something less than a vision that inspires us. The Bishop of Norwich, the Right Reverend Graham James, said there was disengagement with the contemporary political culture and rejected the pleas of some, such as comedian and actor Russell Brand, for people not to vote. New Approach He told reporters, we as bishops are not as sexy as Russell Brand but we say do vote, do engage and do use the hard-won political freedoms that you possess. The letter says the country needs a new approach to political life that will change the political weather as decisively as did the administrations of 1945 and 1979. The ideals that the big society stood for should not be consigned to the political dustbin, the letter adds. The big society was among the Conservatives' flagship 2010 election policies and encouraged greater personal responsibility and community activism in shaping society and running public services. But by January 2013 charities expressed huge frustration at a lack of progress with the idea, which they said appeared to be going nowhere. The document covers various issues including The economy, it credits politicians for helping Britain avoid the financial instability of other European countries, but criticizes them for turning the banking crisis into a political football. Europe, it says there is an enduring argument for continuing to build structures of trust and cooperation between the nations of Europe. Defense Shifts in global strategic realities mean that the traditional arguments for nuclear deterrence need re-examining. The state, we need a richer justification for the state, a better account of the purposes of government, and a more serious way of talking about taxation. Globalization, the problem is that no one in politics today has a convincing story about a healthy balance between national government and global economic power. Conservative MP Nadine Dory said she believed the letter had glaring inaccuracies regarding the economy and the church should be more concerned with issues people wanted to hear its views on, such as abortion. She said the bishops had a very definite left-wing leaning to their message. However, the Prime Minister said he was keen for anyone to intervene in politics. Mr Cameron said, we want to have a political debate in this country. We've created an economy with genuine growth, real jobs, and real security and I would say to the bishops, I would hope they would welcome that. Labour leader Ed Miliband and Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg have not commented on the letter. But Stephen Timms, Labour's shadow employment minister, tweeted that he welcomed the thoughtful and authentically Christian reflection on the election debate. Bishops vindicated. Connor Burns, MP for Bournemouth West, said the letter was naive in not taking into account the recession and the risk posed by countries like Iran. Paul Whiteley, professor of government at the University of Essex, said the letter's policies were a combination of the Green Party, SNP, and perhaps a bit of Labour. He said it had been a long time since the Church of England aligned with the Conservative Party. The Director of Public Affairs for the Archbishop's Council, Malcolm Brown, rejected suggestions the letter was an attack on coalition policies and criticized responses to the document. The media response is to interpret it as an attack on the coalition, he said. David Cameron has reacted as if the letter was a rehash of earlier disputes about welfare reform. In short, the bishops have been thoroughly vindicated. If the responses of the media and the PM are typical of our political culture, it is unfit for purpose.